think I missed something. I really did. Mm, now I remember. Now I remember what to do. Right. First of all, we have tiny mushrooms. Because, remember, we made a thing leaking and now we have tiny mushrooms. So let's put a tiny mushroom inside of the mixer. Oh, we seem to need some water with that. So, water. Put the water inside of the mixer. Whoa! Whoa! Some woodlands. Some forest. Oh, yes, right. We need the glass. Mushroom juice. Black and juicy. Mm. No, not appetizing. Now, which of these pumping stations do I put this juice in? Uh, the third one, according to this piece of paper. Now, which is the third one? Of course, not the one I choose. But... This one has to be the third one, right? Right. So, let's take the juice, put it in here, turn it on. So now three of the lamps are lit. We need to li to lighten, yeah, to lighten up the fourth one. How do we do that? It's a good question. And the answer is difficult. It's really difficult. It's so difficult actually that I had to look it up in the walk through the first time. Pour some water in the glass. Let's see if I remember it correctly, right? So we pour some water in the glass. Put the fire out. We can't put the fire out. How did I do it last time? Help me. I forgot. Because I need to get this piece of wood, right? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Now I remember. Now I remember. I don't need to get that piece of wood. I... This is wrong again. I'm sorry. Because here you can see the bird sitting at the window. And I don't have a glass or anything that I can... No, wait. I do have a glass or anything that I can transport water with. Right? The pot. Pan with water. So there's already, already water in it. We go here and we put a fire out. Can I? Can I? Can I not? Right, so I put fire out with the water and I took the wood. A piece of wood. And now I'm moving to the f window, taking the wood, and so now the bird can go out. And I take the wood back. I didn't figure out that on my own. That was hard. Oh, well, here it is! The bird's outside of the window now. And the woman is too. What a nice scenery out here. Why didn't it stay like that all the time? Also, what relationship do I have to the woman? Is she... My wife? My sister? My fiancé? I... I don't know. Oh. What happened? What happened? Oops. I think this happened before. I think we found a little bug. Let's just reload the page. Oops. Yup, 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 yup. Here we are. Clicking away the advertisement. Continue. And play. And here we are back again. It's so good that it saves, because if it wouldn't save, then we would have a problem right now. So, winter 1981. Right? We are back. And now, this last trick is a really tricky trick. Because, you remember, the parrot went outside. We got the clue from the other radio that you can hear music around this frequency. Now we play music. And because the parrot heard the music, the parrot came back and brought us a flower. Thank you, parrot. And the flower? You guessed it right. 
It's the last ingredients that we need for I don't know what for, but apparently we need flower juice. Yeah, right, flower juice. To power this last thing. To power the phone, right? And now the phone is powered. And the clipboard said, the note on the clipboard said that when the phone is powered, phone plus fuel equals change past. So let's change our past. <coughs> let's <laughs> change our past. Not? Not change the past? Uh. Hello? <laughs> no, I can't change the past. W what went wrong? Hmm. What went wrong? I can't use the phone. Why can't I use the phone? Oh. No. Eh. This is strange. Did I forget anything? Let's read the notes again. Phone plus fuel equals change past. Change the past. Cube plus fire, escape memory. Blue cube plus fire, escape memory. Hmm. So is there another cube around here? That could chill. But did I? Oh right, maybe now the past has changed. Maybe the past has changed. Because, I mean, I fueled the telephone, right? <laughs> I changed the past. There's the woman. I'm the picture and the clock now. Am I the woman? Because this clearly is a mirror. It's me. So I'm the woman. But who's dead? What? I don't understand. Oh. It disappeared. It disappeared. It disappears again. The clock. Will the clock disappear? As well. Right. Winter 1984. Uh, 1981. And cubes. Memory cubes. Trying to click anything. A dot. I'm clicking the dot again. Let's click the tree. Tree. The end? Question mark. Oh, look at her. Now she's happy. Thank you for playing Cube Escape Seasons. The story continues. Whew. So, that was Cube Escape Seasons. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you very much to Rusty Lake for playing, for letting me play this game. Because I really enjoyed it the first time I played it and so I totally wanted to share it with you. So how do you think... What is, what is the story? Because you have to, to make the story up by yourself, right? In your head. I try to make some conclusions to kind of interpret what you see. I don't know, maybe you think something else than me. Are we the woman? Are we the murderer? Did we murder the woman? Did we murder ourselves? Did someone die at all? Because we changed the past, right? I don't know. The past is never dead. It is not even the past. I really like that sentence. So let's um, let's say goodbye then, right? <laughs>